The European Muslim population uh, is largely ethnically Muslim, uh, and uh, it's very diverse, and each country is diverse with regard to the origins of its community. So, for instance, in Germany, uh, there's roughly four million Muslims. It's a country of 82 million. Uh, and of the four million, three million are, are Turks, are ethnically Turkish. But about half of those are from the Alevi minority in Turkey, which again, broadly speaking, is, is classed as, as Shiite, but it's a kind of folk Shiism that doesn't have uh, ayatollahs or anything like that. And um, in the Cold War period, many Alevis in Turkey became Marxists uh, and adopted a very secular point of view. So they are disproportionately, very disproportionately present among the so-called Muslims of, of Germany. And I can't tell you how unlikely an Alevi leftist is to be at all attracted by ISIL, hmm. uh, which is a, 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 I think has departed from the Sunni tradition but comes out of it. Uh, so um, if, you, if you know something about you know, the specificities of these communities, some of the hysteria about them is, is, not, is not well placed. Um, uh, and uh, so uh, I, th I think the big problem for, for Muslims in Europe is economic. Uh, and in France, for instance, a lot of the Algerians and Moroccans and others who came and settled in urban areas and were trying to get factory labor have been left high and dry. You know, in France, they put the slums on the outside of the city rather than in the inside the way we do. The difficulty here is that very often you have large youth populations among Muslim uh, third generation immigrants now or fourth generation who are not near jobs. Uh, and there's no particular prospect of them being near a job where they live. Nobody's uh, rushing to put factories into the 23rd arrondissement. Uh, and, and actually, there are some French government officials who, who have suggested maybe that's exactly what should be done, that it's, France has you know, a fairly strong central government that could maybe address some of these problems. And I would just like to say that it's exactly the same, that the, 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 the Muslims of, of France, generally speaking, are facing some of the problems that uh, the African American community in, in Detroit, uh, and I'm from the Detroit area, are facing, and that there, there, there's a mismatch between skill sets and where the jobs are, populations and where the jobs are, what kind of jobs are available, and so forth. And as, as the Detroit auto, community, uh, auto industry has increasingly roboticized or moved elsewhere or whatever, a lot of people have been left without good paying jobs and, and, and there's a kind of downward spiral whereas when there are fewer good jobs there, people are forced into the lower middle class and then, the, and then in, into slums, it, then who wants exactly to invest in a slum? So the business community isn't, isn't attracted to that and we've had all kinds of schemes, you know, enterprise zones and all these kinds of things to try to fix it. But I think the French uh, are uh, in the same kind of situation. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really look at the situation of the Muslims of France and the first thing come to my mind, religion. The question is, you know, how, how could you employ these youth? Uh, a lot of them are literate and, and, and have skills that could be employed.